Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The Tony Award winning best musical Moulin Rouge is back on Broadway. And I'm here at the Al Hirschfeld Theater to catch up with the latest sateen, Natalie Mendoza. How excited are you to be standing out here in front of the Al Hirschfeld? Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled, you know, to come back to Broadway, especially after COVID. This is just a dream come true to be part of this story. It's beautiful. Um, full circle moment for you, of course. Of course, you were in the film version as China Doll, and now you're playing Satine. Yeah. How incredible is that? So it's incredible. I, um, you know, 20 something years ago, I auditioned for the role of Satine, and then off the back of that, Baz cast me in the role of China Doll. And so to be actually playing the character I, I originally auditioned for <laughs> is totally mind blowing 20 years later. So. Okay, so what was it like going back into rehearsal, like that first day of rehearsal, being back with a company? What was that like? It was, um, it was pretty daunting, to be honest, but I think just, you know, stepping outside into the big wide world felt daunting yeah. because I'd been cloistered away at home during COVID and uh, to be around so many people was incredibly new, uh, but thrilling. And, you know, I just had to take one step at a time. And I, I do that every night, just one step at a time, one quick change at a time. <laughs> okay, so of course, for people who may not know, you're lowered from the ceiling and it's just the most incredible entrance in this show. What was it like being up there for the first night when you were lowered in front of a live audience? It was so wonderful. It, the whole thing is breathtaking. Uh, you know, it's very, um, the, the, the entrance is very, uh, feel, feels very much like a Greek myth, you know, uh, coming out from the, descending from the heavens. But um, it was so beautiful. I mean, it's a dream to, to be able to have an entrance like that for sure. And just being in front of a live audience again, we missed this for almost two years. Yeah. So that first night you had a live audience, you're up there, you hear the applause happening. What was that first night like? You know, I was actually, I, I felt I was welling up with yeah. tears. It was incredibly emotional and it was such a beautiful reminder of how much our, what we do as actors completely relies on the relationship we have with our audience so it really reminded you of the value of community not just with what with the community backstage but the, the audience is part of our community so it was, it was beautiful okay you work with Alex Timbers before of course here lies love I mean he's directing you again in this what was that like reunion like oh you know Alex Timbers is one of my favorite directors uh, he's an absolute dream he He's such a visionary. Um, I, I felt so blessed and so humbled to work with him again. Uh, we, we have such a beautiful working relationship. We have a, a real relationship of trust. I think that was what was fantastic was that we had already worked together. So I kind of knew the way he worked yeah. and he, he trusts his actors. You know, he casts who he wants to cast and then we find our way together. And um, he really gave me permission to cr uh, create the role for myself in a, in a completely new light and um, it's been such a beautiful gift every single night. I mean, what's it like being a part of the world of Moulin Rouge? It's such an incredible musical. People fly in from all around the world to see this musical. They fall in love with it. What's it been like? I think there's a really glorious message um, that uh, Baz created yep. in, in the film, actually. Uh, and then to suddenly experience it on stage, you know, the, the, the whole, uh, his whole attitude of inclusion, you know, um, Danny Bernstein's uh, speeches as Ziedler. Actually, you, if you actually listen to what he's saying, it's abs so beautiful the way uh, it, it encourages the bohemian in all of us and also is so accepting of everybody in society. And that's what I love. It, it's this beautiful, um, it's this home for every kind of uh, person, every kind of misfit, everybody's welcome. It's gorgeous. Do you remember the first time you saw yourself done up as sateen in the mirror, wig, costume, everything, and makeup? Like, what went through your mind? Um, well, that was actually the first time the poster <laughs> behind me. I, I was actually in shock. It would have been a long time since I'd, you know, put any makeup on. So, uh, you know, wonderful because it, it helped me transform. It's very helpful as an actor, that, that, that preparation uh, to be able to transform into something that is quite different to who I am really as a person. So, yeah, I mean, I love it.